back in London at the crack of dawn. My final attempt at flying over London in a balloon. Would the winds be favorable today? It was now or never. It's not every day that you can fly over London City. And this flight has been canceled for the past three days. So there are so many people, so many press people wanting to have a ride. There are only seven balloons allowed to fly because a certain requirement for flying skills to be able to fly over London. So I hope I can get into one of these balloons. Our launch site was Southard Park in central London. There was excitement in the air as the balloons were being inflated. Even at 5 in the morning, a crowd had gathered to witness this historic occasion. It seems that Lady Luck was finally on my side this morning. Owner-pilot Robin Bachelor signaled for me to climb aboard his balloon. It was all systems go, and the countdown began. Okay, right hands off everybody, listen up, hands off. And just as I had dreamt, this was no ordinary balloon flight. Each of the seven balloons taking flight had loudspeakers attached to them, filling the early morning London air with music. We had become an orchestra in the sky. Hey, Robin, what are you trying to achieve with this music? I mean, it's very nice, but I still don't understand. Well, it's a gift to the population of London, mm -hmm. and it's to announce the one year until the Olympics. Okay. It's, it's something that's been done by the artist Luke Jerome as an artistic, unorthodox use of balloons. Yes. It engages the city, it makes them think, it's, it's artistic. Um, now you know what I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a balloon pilot. <laughs> I had spent the past few days exploring the capital city on foot, by bus, and by train. But for me, this was the best way to see London or any city for that matter. After an all too short 45 minute flight, we began our descent, hoping to find a suitable landing spot in London's urban jungle. Not an easy task by any means. You wait and see mine. Specialized in the first pilot. Hedges bachelor for nothing. Any second now, be ready to look after your camera. Joy, welcome back to Terra Firma. <laughs> well, that was a <laughs> perfect landing. It was, uh, yeah, it was. I mean, between the poles and you stopped right here. Yeah, just Excellent. before the hedge. To fly over London of is course. a treat, yeah. it's a privilege. But to do that, that, I have, yeah. But to, but to, to play that music for Sky Orchestra, exactly. it's amazing. With my mission accomplished, it was time to head out of London by the busy M4 motorway and reunite with my friend Pete in his home in Hungerford, Berkshire County. Driving along the British countryside is always nice. You can see all sorts of stuff. Sheep, horses, almost anything. Hey, here's Pete's house now. Pete and his wife Elaine would be my host for the next part of my England adventure. As a welcome, Pete, Elaine, and another old friend, Dick Bloom, brought me to a traditional English pub. It was there that they taught me the joys of a proper pint of English beer. So this is uh, traditional English bitter. Um, English beer. Um, this particular one is brewed uh, just down the road in Devizes. It's called the um, uh, Wadworth Brewery. And um, yeah, we, we prefer it to what we call fizzy <laughs> lager beers. Uh, lager type beers, they are, you, you have a cask with carbon dioxide on the top which forces the, the beer down the line and it ends up very fizzy. With this, you either serve it straight from the barrel by gravity, mm -hmm. or you use the hand pump 
or an electric pump. And you have to have it in a pump. Yeah. It tastes um, better in a pump. Yeah, it tastes better in a pump. Why is it? I mean, has the pub always been a part of uh, British life? Um, yeah, the pub has always been an important part of life in in the village, in the small town, and, and the big town. Um, it's where the working man went after his working day uh, to relax and forget about the the pain of the the work that he's just done. What about retired old men like you? Why are you here? <laughs> A pint with old friends in this picturesque town in the English countryside. What a perfect way to end the first part of my journey. I knew England had a lot more in store for me though, and I look forward to it. This has been your captain, Joy Roa. See you in our next Asian Air Safari. <laughs>